greetings and salutations. Uh, welcome to another edition of the YouTube channels Plugin Police and Too Many Plugins. Today we're going to look at my favorite plugin developer, this new um, uh, drum machine. Uh, let's call it hybrid uh, drum machine because this is much more than uh, just a drum machine. It's an unfiltered audio uh, battalion. It uh, just came out. Uh, it's uh, for um, an introductory price of, let me see how much was that, 129 euros, but this is only an introduction price, so they're going to be very quickly going to be 199. Now, Unfiltered Audio is uh, my uh, my uh, favorite plugin developer in the sense that uh, of the plugins that I use the most uh, are actually from Unfiltered Audio. I like very much all their plugins because all their plugins have um, uh, full modulation possibilities in it, uh, so you can uh, modulate everything thing with LFOs and uh, uh, sequencers and uh, uh, within within the plugin itself so uh, you can uh, skip a lot of autom uh, automation in your in your production by using unfiltered audio and just to use uh, the built-in uh, uh, modulation uh, features now this one I don't uh, know uh, uh, um, if it has the same modulators as it has in uh, in the other plugins from unfiltered audio because those are really really handy they're just little uh, uh, um, uh, how do you call it? Modulation modules that just open it under it and you can just then rewire everything. Uh, we're going to look at this. This is not a review. This is a first hands-on. It just came out. I just got the the 14-day free trial. Um, you get now also another plugin from them, uh, Ly uh, Ly Lion, Leon uh, plugin you get for free uh, now, a uh, limited time offer. Um, so uh, it's on a plugin alliance. Um, you can uh, yourself just get a 14-day uh, free trial uh, to check it out uh, if you want. Uh, just make a free account on Plugin Alliance and check it out. I can uh, by the way, also highly recommend the other uh, uh, plugins from them. Uh, PsyOps, I think, Pay, uh, PSI Ops is one that I use a lot. Uh, Zip, I use a lot. A fantastic uh, creative compressor. Uh, I use really, really, really a lot. Fault, I use a lot. Uh, uh, Den2, I use a lot. Uh, I use a Sandman Pro that is a, a creative, um, uh, how do you call that, a, a delay plugin, echo plugin. Uh, there's several plugins of them uh, that I use and that I really, 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 really like. So uh, there you go. Uh, just came out, we're going to go to the DAW. Uh, so for a limited time, 129. And uh, you can get a uh, free uh, Lion uh, plugin also. I actually don't know what kind of plugin this is, uh, uh, to be very honest. But it's for sure also made by uh, Unfiltered Audio. Uh, so uh, there you go. Uh, try it out for 14 days and uh, the 129. Uh, I'm talking about this plugin is because this plugin is actually very very interesting and I think this is like a, a much better uh, plugin uh, than uh, uh, the one that um, Soundbridge had that was Rhythmix. Uh, that they uh, first was for free and then they hired the price to like 150, 160 bucks. And uh, I'll tell you something, even the 199. Uh, if you pay that, it's much, much more superior uh, uh, plug-in than uh, Rhythmix, uh, uh, this one. You can really do do a lot with this. So, uh, And for 129 even more, you know. I don't, uh, Rhythmix, I keep on finding that way too expensive. What, 140, 150, 160 euros for that uh, that plug-in. Uh, not, it's not a good drum machine, it is, but it's not it's not worth that, not even close by. I think this plug-in, because uh, this is a hybrid, this is also a synth, so you can uh, adjust all sorts of things. So we're gonna jump uh, just uh, in uh, in the DAW and today we're using just Bitwit because Bitwit is very nice for uh, um uh, uh, well, for me, especially for just uh, testing uh, uh, drum machines and synthesizers, uh, so we're just going to use uh, Bitwit as a host. Uh, we're in Bitwit, we have your unfiltered audio uh, battalion running. Uh, I know that there's 52 different uh, skins you can um, um, change over here, so you, uh, you can get all sorts of different skins. I came now default uh, with this one. Uh, now, how this works is uh, we have a synth in here. So this is your synth uh, section where you can uh, uh, change here to several different uh, things. So radiation, training, shame, entangled, haywire, tripwire, builder, kick, hat, snare, clap, modal, cowbell, FM, additive, chaos, Vosim, Sunsin, uh, Resin, Combi, Kombucha, Pillow, Zap. You can just go in this uh, for a very, very long time. Here we are in the same ones again. Uh, so, uh, yes, Sinti with envelope, stereo. 
You have here uh, pitch one and two, shape one and two, and uh, terrain. Here we have a sample section where you can uh, um, uh, uh, edit edit the sample or uh, change the uh, different samples for uh, for what you are uh, for what you are doing. Let me see if this is now working. Yeah, it's working. Okay. So we have a, a, a sampler over here. You can change this from classic to uh, uh, to uh, change the different presets. You have an envelope um, modifier over here, envelope one and two, and uh, no envelope. Uh, you can load samples over here. You have a randomized button, so randomized sample. You can change uh, previous and next samples. And here you can load presets uh, from file. Then uh, we have a pitch, tune, a fine tune, a tilt, a comp, and uh, and uh, let me see what's that. Uh, 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 places the speed changes at the middle of the sample at 50%. Uh, uh, let me see. Okay. Uh, and then uh, we have a gain uh, over here. Uh, yeah. Is that grain or gain? Gain. Uh, similar to split, this control changes the speed of two chunks of a sample. Okay. Um, we have here uh, uh, voice voice presets that you can uh, change over here. Then you have a reset, soft, always on. Then over here we have a uh, uh, tone. So we have cutoff, resonance, distortion, and then some uh, presets here you can uh, you can uh, change. Then we have modulation, random velocity, macro one and two that you can set over here. Uh, what's this? It doesn't say. Uh, then we have envelope one and two. Then we have LFO one and two with uh, all the typical controls. Uh, here you can also change your LFO uh, types here to wavetable, uh, triangle tilt. You have all sorts of presets here. Free run, always reset. So that's also uh, a way of quick uh, triggering. Uh, sync bipolar. Then we have wavetable. You can here just uh, set the same kind of thing. So you can change from uh, from uh, different kinds of uh, tables. Uh, triangle tilt, pulse width, and smooth random wavetable. A variation button over here. Uh, send, delay, and reverb. Then we have a mixer pen, a volume gain. Uh, that's a voice gain. Uh, that must have been of the voice channel. Then you have just the uh, amplitude level of the main output, so master output, but low, mid, high, maximize. And then we go to performance. Then in performance, uh, let me see what you have here. Envelope, synth, sampler, modulation, and sequencer, all in horizontal plane. So this envelope, synth, sampler, modulation, sequencer. Uh, then we have, uh, what's this over here? Tone control, dis uh, tone control distortion, cutoff, and resonance. And a global uh, uh, parameter, the eff effect is associated controls on all drum voices enabled on this performance page. We have a randomized function also, commit and reset. And then here just to your master again. Then there's a sequencer in here, that you can here enable the sequencer. Uh, you can here change the steps of the sequences to 32, uh, or uh, I don't know how high this goes. Uh, 64 probably, yeah, 64. So it's a 64 step uh, sequencer. Uh, you have your sync function, free trigger and re-trigger. Then you can here fill in uh, your sequences. Here trigger your sequences on top. And uh, then you have solo mute here, so that's a little bit the same as the... the, the the channel faders that you have in um, Rhythmix. Uh, there's here a randomized button here also. We have generate, step, fill, pattern, rotate, modifier, shift, swing, shape, uh, density, and then settings, multi. You can here add the, s the speed, snap, and we snap on grid. Okay, uh, then the length. Oh of the sequences. And then we have a reset button over here. And uh, OK, you can uh, reset. And then you have a humanizer button, uh, which is the same also in uh, Rhythmix. So then over here we have parameters. That's velocity, shift, pitch, ratch, envelope, pan, vary, uh, probe, sense, and macro, the two. So uh, that's then the sequence uh, section. Then we have all over here, where you can see everything sort of in one screen your sequencer and then uh, uh, your um, your performance section in one. Yeah, exactly, that is what it is. So uh, uh, this is then in the vertical plane, step, fill, pattern, rotate, shift, swing and shape. And you can hit also uh, adjust your sync and the length of, uh, of each uh, sequence. 
uh, then still a master row, so we have mix FX. Uh, so we have a delay section, we have a reverb section, uh, all in the vertical plane, and then pan. And then uh, your gains, so your mixer is over here. Uh, trigger, choke, routing, that's also all in the vertical plane. Ascend FX, we have time feedback, glitch, docking, uh, feedback tilt, S rotate, and uh, gain. Uh, we have a headspace reverb, we have a pre delay, a decay, S rate, gain, in tilt, and out tilt. And then here also some presets, still uh, uh, a sync button. And uh, that's then uh, basically it. Uh, so uh, this is a, a hybrid. Uh, a drum machine and a synthesizer effects module in, in one. Uh, so uh, there you go. Uh, let us just go through some presets and just listen to, uh, to some stuff. So you can just throw in your samples. Check out uh, some things that we put some voices in here. It's a voice preset. Let's just randomize this. Classic. Try this over here, uh, blend this button over here. It's really awesome this actually, uh, just randomize this.
possibilities of this are really, really, really endless. This is really, really crazy, crazy. Uh really crazy workstation. This is a workstation, guys. This is much more than just a drum machine. Uh uh, almost a complete workstation. It's a drum, a synthesizer, a sampler, and a sequencer, and a effects rack in one. Uh, so this by itself is already standalone. You could do uh, really a lot with this. Yeah, I'm really impressed though, so far. You can just start changing here uh, the... That's really handy actually, the start and the end points. Uh. Granular. Uh, really impressive. Randomize. Okay, I'll check another uh, preset. Presets uh, work with every uh, every sound you select. Okay, trust of the girls. use the buttons here. Over here, 116, let's do 116. Fantastic piece of kit, this uh, really crazy, crazy possibilities we have over here.
<laughs> a lot of noises. <laughs> Yeah, this is really, really a fantastic piece of kit. This uh, you can go really, really crazy with this. Uh, I'm very impressed, and I think that this one actually is much better than Rhythmix. But I'm seeing a lot of things here that uh, sort of the bass what they have used is actually a bit of Rhythmix, but then they have put it really their unfiltered audio. Um, uh, user interface GUI and functions in it. Uh, I really like unfiltered uh, audio plugins. Uh, one of my favorite uh, plugin manufacturers. They are uh, they go very experimental, but they give you so many possibilities, so many functions. You know, nobody nobody can beat that. Uh, and I find out that their layout is always like uh, some sort of way minimalistic setup, so it doesn't uh, also use too many resources from your PC. But it's uh, very obvious and uh, easy to understand. So. Uh, and they always use these uh, lighter grey and uh, um, a lighter yellow and lighter pink kind of uh, colors always in their plugins. So it's also not so ob obnoxious to to your sight, you know. Their plugins are always very, uh, how do you call that, uh, nice to look at, easy to look at, not tiring, not with so much detail and so much uh, resolution and colors and uh, things that you don't really need, you know, so I think that's always nice of unfiltered audio. I'm gonna just go uh, random through some, uh, plug, uh, some presets and uh, then uh, we'll leave it there. think that this by itself could be I mean don't take it wrong you know but I think that this program by itself could be almost if it had like recording functions uh, it could by itself be a, D, a, a DAW it's it's just a workstation this is just a whole, uh, whole piece of kit in one you know this uh, yeah a music production workstation that's more what it is I wouldn't j just call this a drum machine you know I think it's a little bit wrong set you know you can do so much with this you know uh, of course you need to still run it in a, a DAW of how far this is not standalone but this could be like really a piece cool piece of kit with some extra features still on it uh, as just a standalone uh, in my opinion this is really really nice piece of kit very advanced uh, uh, synthesis uh, features you can go even granular you can uh, you have wavetables over here you know you, you can you, I mean the possibilities are literally endless over here and uh, aut automation uh, must be also like I haven't figured out to, still how you, how you can do automation here but it must be really really uh, easy to do because normally uh, unfiltered audio plugins are really known for uh, automation uh, so there you go let me see your sequence over here. All. Yeah, there's some groups also. You can trigger chop and uh, do routing over here. Yeah, I don't really see so much uh, automation uh, to be very honest. There must be a way of doing that, but let me just go back uh, to this one. See if we can optimize something. There's a lock buttons over here. At least that you have. That I haven't really figured out yet. Uh, how do you do automation over here? Let me see. Uh, you can uh, change the color team uh, uh, into something else. So that's also quite uh, quite cool. With no black light. Uh, octopus. See what I mean? Always with their their colors. Always very. Uh, 
easy on the eyes. Their plugins always have these kinds of, uh, of light shades and not intrusive uh, uh, colors and uh, light uh, 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 blinking in, in your eyes. So that's really always what I really like of uh, unfiltered audio's plugins are very pleasant uh, to, to listen to, uh, to, to look at for a long time. It's really nice, man. This is a really a nice piece of kit. Uh, This is really, really excellent piece of kit. Yeah, I'm really, really liking this. Yeah. Complete workstation in a box, uh, folks. That's basically what it is. Uh, this is a really, really, really nice piece of kit. This also very easy to uh, set up something like this, and from there on, uh, uh, start working on the rest of your set. Uh, uh, I think this gives you like a really a good starting point for like uh, melodies, rhythms, and beats, and and things like that. And uh, you can just with all these functions over here create yourself the crazy kind of mixes and then also use randomized functions I'm really 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 impressed with this plugin and let me tell you something I think this plugin is gonna do very 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 well in the music production uh, scene uh, this is an extremely a handy piece of tool that can make you very quickly uh, get somewhere on a base uh, basic uh, um, a level and uh, from there on start to working and I don't mean that this is a basic piece of shit, kit because this is an extremely advanced piece of kit where the possibilities are literally endless uh, but it can give you a very uh, uh, easy and, and quick uh, basis to start then uh, layering on uh, and uh, create the rest of your mix around uh, this is really excellent piece of kit I think this is really going to really do well and I really tell you something there's many plugins I see today uh, that uh, I've even tried them and used them and I wouldn't buy them and, and I would know, know that I would almost never use them and they would uh, turn very quickly into uh, 
of security where I have them in my library but I don't use them and it's just a waste of money. This plugin on the other end is very different for me. I think this is a, a really, really, really handy plugin, uh, really useful. And I think that is one of those plugins that if you buy it, you can really take profit of it. Uh, and um, it is really, uh, let's face it, let's be really honest, there's a lot of plugins today that are totally nece not necessary. Nobody asks for them. Uh, and in most workflows on a day-to-day -day basis, you can many times cannot really uh, use them, cannot really implement them uh, in your uh, production or in your, in your workflow. Uh, this, I think, is a very different story. So I'm uh, really, really impressed. I think you can get uh, excellent instant ideas and uh, and even samples just, man. Now listen here, you can get yourself some really wicked, you know, let's go with granular over here. Oh. Get some really, really wicked stuff here. Impressed. Yeah, this is really, really crazy. This. After it also start changing with the sequences, uh, start triggering stuff. Anyway. Oh yeah. It reminds me also a little bit of the sample bass, uh, like you can do with the uh, uh, with Playbox from Native Instruments that I own. Also, you can also uh, make these little crazy samples like this uh, uh, and use like uh, six keys on your keyboard to uh, create yourself a whole pattern that you lay on top of it. Uh, but the integration here, a little bit of the sampler, is for me a little bit uh, the same. It reminds me a little bit of that. Uh, Lovely stuff uh, guys, I think this is going to be absolutely a uh, winner winner chicken dinner in terms of uh, uh, plug-in. Uh, 200 bucks, uh, even so I say uh, probably still worth it, you know, to be very honest with what you can do with this. And, uh, uh, and 139 totally, and I think that uh, Rhythmix can better start thinking about lowering the price of that plug-in because this plug-in is way better. There is so many things more you can do with this. Uh, this I'm sorry, but I'm going to categorize this as a, almost a full uh, workstation. So, uh, uh, and of course, you still need to have a DAW really to, to then uh, uh, arrange it all and, and stuff. But uh, yeah, this almost this could be even a standalone uh, plugin, in my opinion, with some uh, some small alterations. So, I'm very, very, very impressed.
So even making these textures and uh, and that's what I like Playbox also for. This uh, what you now over here listen is making these little textures and little uh, ambient sounds and stuff uh, for the background. Uh, that is what uh, Playbox is so good in. Uh, only Playbox. I don't like the fact that Playbox only runs uh, in. Uh, uh, in a reactor and in a contact, uh, I don't like uh, running contact within uh, my DAW. I just want a separate plugin. That's what I don't like of uh, of uh, so much of Native Instruments plugins. They're always running in the contact uh, player. Uh, it's a little bit uh, to a design. Not you cannot integrate it in your workflow in your DAW, but. I mean, you just can make the craziest things with this, and I'm not even changing really nothing, but it's just incredible what you can do with this thing. It's really incredible. Let's try another uh, preset. guys I'm really really impressed and I really honestly it's uh, literally just uh, shut up and take my money kind of deal over here uh, this is a really really nice piece of kit and I'm just touching the surface to search for something else. Yeah, guys, I'm really, really impressed. Seems also pretty resource uh, low. I haven't seen uh, really uh, uh, this uh, too much um, struggling for resources, uh, which uh, some of these kinds of granular and wavetable synths sometimes really absolutely uh, uh, destroy uh, the performance of your PC, but uh, so far this is running really, really smooth. Uh, no hiccups whatsoever. So I think this is actually pretty well optimized uh, and uh, not uh, heavy on uh, resources.
analog drum machine. Swears. Now you're the factory presets. Just go quickly through it. And these are then the factory resets of the whole uh, whole arrangement. And then you have here still you have uh, factory resets also, which uh, you can uh, in samples you can go really nuts over here. This has a lot of samples, a lot of stuff still integrated. Uh, so uh, and you can load your own samples, the same as in. Um, as in the Playbox by Native Instrument, the Playbox by the way is 200 bucks, but uh, this program has way more functions than Playbox. It's a little bit different. Playbox is a, a complete uh, a sample stack software, sort of layering software for samples, and uh, has then some effects on top of it, and you can change some envelopes and stuff. But uh, this is way more advanced. So. So there you go, uh, 10 out of 10 guys, I think this is a fantastic uh, plugin, I'm absolutely impressed, I uh, wanna just uh, for a little bit uh, playing around with this uh, scene, uh, uh, just showed you basically only some presets and stuff, but as you can see over here the, the possibilities are uh, endless. So uh, see this more as a whole uh, sequence, a remix, a workstation kind of uh, deal over here, uh, drum machine synth. Uh, hybrid uh, kind of thing. Uh, I think this thing is going to do very, very, very well, and uh, and I think that uh, Rhythmix, uh, the guys of Soundbridge, can better start uh, or adding a lot of features to uh, Rhythmix or uh, start lowering the price really of Rhythmix because this program is way more uh, may can do way more than a Rhythmix. Um, uh, I was just uh, seeing it coming in yesterday as a new product of them. I got an email from them and. Uh, 
But uh, yeah, honestly, I'm really impressed, and uh, uh, I would uh, totally buy this. Uh, not that I in this moment can, but uh, if I could, I would actually, especially for uh, 139. I think uh, uh, we have a lot of synths, you know, but we don't have so many things for drums, you know. Um, uh, drum drum machines that uh, have advanced uh, envelopes and uh, modulation and uh, and. Uh, uh, effects and stuff like that. And many drum machines are very, very, very basic, and uh, I think that uh, this is a good uh, addition to uh, uh, to the world of music production. I think this uh, plugin is going to do very well and is going to be very, very popular. I know they haven't really marketed so well. Uh, you know, there's not so much publicity done for this, uh, but uh, uh, still, I think that uh, this plugin uh, many people are gonna gonna buy, and I think it's gonna be a very successful uh, plugin. This. Uh. So, but there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Until the next time, stay safe, take care. I'll catch you in the next episode.